In the ever-evolving landscape of labor laws, a seismic shift is on the horizon. A new rule from the U.S. Department of Labor is set to redefine the professional terrain for independent contractors, particularly in the trucking industry. This change, stirring both concern and controversy, could reshape the future of work as we know it. On January 9, 2024, the Department of Labor unveiled a rule that introduces an economic factors test, a multi-step process to determine a worker's status as either an independent contractor or an employee. This rule, which will come into effect on March 11th, aims to align more closely with judicial precedent under the Fair Labor Standards Act. It considers six criteria, including managerial skill, investment, permanence of the relationship, degree of control, integration into the business, and skill and initiative. Unlike the 2021 rule it replaces, these factors do not have predetermined weight, but are part of a totality of the circumstances analysis. The trucking industry, which has long relied on independent contractors, is bracing for impact. Chris Spear, president of the American Trucking Associations, criticized the new rule, stating, It's unfortunate that the administration has chosen to replace a clear and straightforward standard with a tangled mess that weakens our supply chain and undermines the livelihoods of hundreds of thousands of truckers across the country. The rule's approach to factors such as control and permanence of work relationships has particularly drawn the ire of industry stakeholders. Legal challenges are anticipated, with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce among those expected to file lawsuits. The Indianapolis-based transportation law firm Scopolitis, Garvin, Light, Hansen, and Fury has highlighted troubling aspects of the rule, such as the implications of contractual control and exclusivity on employee status. Despite some positive changes in response to comments, the firm believes the final rule is not favorable on balance. The Department of Labor received around 55 to 400 comments on the proposed rule, with a clear divide between support from employees and labor groups and opposition from independent contractors and business entities. As the implementation date looms, the industry is poised on the cusp of a regulatory transformation that could redefine the essence of independent contracting.